स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज मॉक टेस्ट वेस्ड ऑन न्यूट्रिएंट्स एंड देयर फंक्शन इन प्लांट्स लेट एस स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन विच न्यूट्रिएंट्स आर नॉट एब्सॉर्ड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ कैटायन नॉट एब्सॉर्ड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ कैटायन सो इन फर्स्ट मेक अ लिस्ट ऑफ न्यूट्रिएंट व्हिच आर एब्सॉर्ड इन एनायन लाइक नाइट्रेट सल्फेट क्लोराइड then phosphate h2po4 then borate h2bo3 minus and hbo3 minus and b uh, and uh, molybdenum so these are absorbed in the form of anion so here question is asked not absorbed in the form of cation so zinc is absorbed in the form of cation zn++ and copper++ phosphor nickel plus plus so here sulfur chloride but combination if we see then combination is boron and chlorine so these are absorbed in the form of anion so such type of questions are solved by making the list then nitrogen fixing bacteria are azoto vector it is true it is free living bacteria rhizobium in legume plant pulse crop azoospermum it is uh, occur in rhizosphere particularly in sorghum aceto vector it has nitro fixation particularly in sugarcane crop then rhizobium and brady rhizobium brady rhizobium is slow growing bacteria also fix nitrogen so here answer is all of these when in plants help absorption of it is vem is vascular or vascular mycorrhiza it is fungus it has uh, infection or association with the roots and help in the absorption of phosphorus it also help in absorption of zinc and water so if roots are infected or have inoculated with the vem then there is more uptake of these uh, nutrients phosphorus zinc and particularly water so that's why these plant uh, become Uh, drought resistant because they have more capacity to absorb water so sometimes this question is also asked the nutrient which become toxic to plant under acidic condition means ph is less than 7 then the nutrient which are uh, which have high solubility under acidic condition show nutrient toxicity so here aluminum and iron are more soluble under acidic condition and show toxicity what will be expenditure on urea if it is applied at the rate of 50 kg nitrogen per hectare and price of urea is rupees 6 kg per hectare so first calculate amount of urea so amount of uh, urea is calculated as nitrogen amount then multiplied by 100 and divided by 46 so amount is 50 into 100 divided by 46 so this is urea amount in kg and price is 6 so multiplied it by 6 so this is answer so by solving it is 652 rupees so this is uh, based on simple calculation how to convert uh, nitrogen into urea then appetite is source of this is source of phosphorus actually appetite formula is ca3po4 whole twice and there are fluoro opatite chloro opatite and hydroxy opatite so these are very common uh, appetite which element help in cell wall rigidity so the nutrient which is present in cell wall a uh, contribute in cell wall rigidity and its extension so calcium and boron both are involved in cell wall synthesis but the major role is of calcium so calcium is present in cell wall and pectin uh, chains are there and it is linked with this chain then metal nutrients are here question is asked about metal nutrient so first make the list of non metal uh, nutrients so these are nitrogen phosphorus 
sulfur and boron and chlorine these are non metal so here this is metal this is metal here uh, both are metal and these p and k p and k uh, p is non metal so it means here it uh, question is asked about both are metal nutrient so here the option is copper and manganese in this pair both are metal nutrients which element is not a part of urea so we should remember the formula chemical formula of urea nh2co nh2 this is urea chemical formula so nitrogen is present hydrogen is present carbon is present and oxygen is present and here it is asked is not part of urea so carbon is present hydrogen is present nitrogen is present so here answer is none of these all are present in urea then iron deficiency is most commonly observed in so in case of iron uh, solubility of iron is more as we discussed in earlier question that uh, if ph is less than 7 then iron and uh, aluminum are more soluble and cause acidity but if ph is more than 7 means a uh, uh, high ph then solubility is reduced and deficiency symptoms appear in the plant because of non soluble formation of iron so in case of calcareous soil ph is more than 7 because of more presence of calcium carbonate ph goes beyond 7 and iron solubility is reduced and not available to the plant so that's why iron deficiency is commonly observed in calcareous soils Indian soils are generally deficient in so this is very common question asked in many examination so this is zinc and if we talk about uh, global so in global boron is the most deficient micro nutrient but in India zinc is the most uh, deficient micro nutrient the immobilization of nitrogen occur in soil is CN ratio of organic matter is so it is more than 30 is to 1 if it is uh, less than 20 is to 1 then mineralization is there means uh, net gain of nitrogen so this is a process of uh, mineralization and immobilization and if it is more than th uh, 30 is to 1 then immobilization and there is temporary deficiency of nitrogen in soil and if it is between 20 is to 1 to 30 is to 1 then there is net gain is 0 and uh, it is in dynamics such that uh, mineralization amount equal to immobilized amount so net gain is 0 if ratio is between 20 is to 1 to 30 is to 1 silvite is source of so sylvite uh, is a mineral and this is mainly potassium chloride mineral so definitely it is source of potassium so sylvite is uh, mainly used for refining purpose for manufacturing of murate of potash the nutrient essential part of protein actually proteins are uh, made up of amino acids and amino acids are composed of nitrogen and sulfur beside carbon hydrogen and oxygen so carbon hydrogen oxygen are the essential constituents of all biological molecules carbohydrate fat protein and nitrogen and sulfur are component of uh, amino acids that's why protein contain nitrogen sulfur so here it is uh, uh, if we look the options so n and s is correct F and ES incorrect, nitrogen sulfur chloride incorrect. So here the correct option is nitrogen sulfur and carbon because it contains carbon.
chlorophyll formation take place with the help of so similarly all the biological molecules have cho and chlorophyll has nitrogen and magnesium so here nitrogen is part magnesium is part carbon is part so answer is all of these the latest nutrient included in the list of essential nutrient is nickel nickel is essential part of urease enzyme which is required for hydrolysis of urea that's why nickel is considered essential nutrient and included in the list of essential nutrients so there are 17 essential nutrient so its number is 17 number of uh, essential micronutrients for higher plant is so sometimes it may be uh, confusion so write down all the micronutrients fe cu mn zn boron molybdenum chlorine and nickel so these are eight eight are micronutrient to so talk about uh, micronutrients then uh, n Uh, nitrogen phosphorus potassium calcium magnesium sulfur these are six and basic structure of all biological molecules are three so now this is 17 so here question is asked about essential micronutrients so here answer is eight which nutrient pair is immobile in plant so here immobility is us so remember the mobile nutrient which show deficiency symptoms on older leaves or lower leaves so mobile nutrients are since their number is less so remember the mobile nutrients n p k magnesium and molybdenum so these are mobile in plant so n p k and magnesium molybdenum so here sulfur is uh, here as about immobile nitrogen is mobile so option is incorrect here phosphorus and magnesium both are mobile so it is incorrect and here potassium is mobile so it is also incorrect then calcium and boron these are highly immobile and their translocation is very very limited that's why their deficiency symptoms comes on terminal buds conversion factor for converting urea into nitrogen is so we know that uh, urea contain 46% nitrogen so it means if we apply 100 kg urea then how much nitrogen we get 46 kg nitrogen 46% means if we are applying 100 kg urea then availability of nitrogen is 46 kg so it means for 1 kg urea how much nitrogen is obtained 46 upon 100 kg nitrogen so it is 0.46 kg n so it means 1 kg urea is equal to 0.46 kg n so that's why conversion factor is 0.46 and 1 kg nitrogen if we talk about 1 kg nitrogen then uh equation may be reverse 46 kg nitrogen is obtained from 100 kg urea so 1 kg nitrogen is obtained from 100 upon 46 kg urea and it is about 2.17 so here it is converting into nitrogen so if urea it, it is conversion factor for urea to nitrogen and 2.17 is nitrogen to urea then p content in lime is lime is calcium carbonate there is no phosphorus in calcium carbonate so that's why phosphorus content is zero white bud of maize is caused due to deficiency of so newly emerged leaves become white that's why it is called white bud and it is caused due to zinc deficiency and zinc deficiency is very common in rice and known as khera disease 
the chemical formula of uh, murate of potash mop we have discussed what is mop mop is kcl so chemical formula it is uh, ore obtained from ore sylvinite and formula is potassium chloride so this is correct option kcl Ajola is used in Ajola actually uh, nitrogen fixing plant and it require water so without water it cannot survive so out of this crop rice survive in rice or rice uh, require water so that's why Ajola is used for nitrogen fixation in rice Frankia helps in Frankia helps in biological nitrogen fixation it is very important from a nitrogen fixation point of view nutrients which show deficiency symptoms on older leaves so this is concept based question the nutrient which are mobile they show the deficiency symptoms on older leaves the reason is that suppose this is a plant and these are older leaves and these are new leaves and uh, now nutrient is present here suppose nitrogen is present here and this is newly emerged leaf and the requirement of nitrogen or any nutrient is more in new leaves as compared to older leaves because metabolic uh, functions are more new cell development is there metabolites are required and soil is not providing the nutrient then if nutrient is mobile then it is translocated from there to here so now this become deficient and it become sufficient so that's why deficiency symptoms of mobile nutrients appear on older leaves because they are translocated from older plant parts to newer growing plants so mobile nutrients it means the older leaves deficiency symptoms are those nutrients which are mobile and mobile nutrients are n p k magnesium and molybdenum so now here sulfur is not mobile here copper is not mobile and here iron is not mobile magnesium potassium and molybdenum these are mobile so this was about the nutrient functions thank you very much